Well, I sure did not realize how much you guys and gals out there love this guy. Juan Martin Del Potro. Juan Martin Del Potro. He looked great against a Denis Shapovalov El Chapo. And I get an episode of CBT for you guys today. Just a quick sip all about Juan Martin Del Potro. Quick sip! <laughs> so if you're wondering why I don't have a Federer hat and I don't have a Federer cup, and I'm using a Chris Everett shot maker racket today instead of a uh, classic Roger Federer racket from years past. You're going to have to watch the latest full episode of I'll show you how to get there at the end of this video. But first, let's talk about Juan Martin Del Potro. The NZ Herald, I'm guessing that's the New Zealand Herald. That's where we go. Put it on the screen. Juan Martin Del Potro, the return of the king. One of the biggest names in world tennis has touched down in Auckland. The 29-year-old is one of the biggest male names to grace the Stanley Street Court since the start of this decade. He's one of the most popular players on tour. And one of the few, this is the important part, one of the few who is a genuine threat to the Big Four, Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Murray. Take one more look at one of the most popular male tennis players on the earth. Handsome guy, Juan Martin Del Potro. Let's test out this Chris Everett shot maker. Direct hit. Hope I didn't move the camera again. These wooden rackets, they just sound different bouncing off the hand. I wonder if you guys can see the dust flying off of it. I know I can kind of see it. Anyways, so Del Potro, a real threat to the big four. One of the only players who's a threat to all members of the big four. I think I do agree with that. And I guess a lot of you guys and gals out there agree with that because of the comments I saw on the last video I did on the new Coffee Break Tennis channel. So here's the thing. I wasn't so convinced that Del Potro really is this big of a threat, as it says in the article. I, I, don't get me wrong. In a best out of three, even in a best out of five. Yes, I do think Del Potro is a threat to anyone. He's one of the best players around. But he's also one of the biggest players and one of the most injury-prone tennis players. So I'm really making this video because I want to know, do you guys really think that Del Potro is that big of a threat? Okay, everyone's going to think that. I guess what I really want to know, what I'm saying is, do you really think Del Potro can win another major? Keep in mind, it's now been close to nine years since he won his only major in 2009. Now, let's say some good things about Del Potro. Obviously, last year he had some pretty good results, but think about how the year ended. He couldn't compete. He basically fell apart. You know, his body got worn down at the end of the year, and he, did, he said, you know, yeah, I know I can go to the World Tour Finals as an alternate, but I'm too tired. I'm not going to go. And... We watched him play El Chapo last night. He looks fit. He looks good. So yes, I do think he's a threat at the Australian Open. But he's going to have to win a lot of matches before he plays someone like a Roger or a Rafa. So he could be worn down. And I know he got Roger at the U.S. Open, but this is a compromised Roger we had at the U.S. Open with the back issues. So below, does anyone think Del Po will ever be able to win another major? That's my big question for you guys. Hey, I made a bunch of videos for you. So if you want to check out my video on Nick Kyrgios, click here. Uh, click here if you want to see my video about Rafa Nadal. He played his first match of the year. I'm going to fill you all about, fill you in on it. And I got some highlights from the match on that video. And if you want to see a whole episode of... I'll tell you why I get rid of all my Fed gear in this video. Just making sure there's no RF hats behind me. Click down here. Thanks for watching Coffee Break Tennis. I'll see you in the next video. Quick step!